All right, welcome to system test eight of my Snap Circuits Fire Alarm panel. First, oh, um, first before we start system test, go subscribe to Magnoff Watch Five. He was the original designer of this fire alarm panel. Also, go join the Discord I just recently made. Um, I'm still working a few things out with it, but I think it's good. Um. And also, it's been a while since my last system test. I have, ever since my last system test, I built this. Um, let's get this paper out of the way. Um, can you just grab a key for it real quick? Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take the key, and we're just going to put this in here. And then we'll turn it on. So we turn on our master breaker. We turn on this switch. And we turn on our outlet. This breaker here controls this outlet here. Which I guess I'll turn on. But we don't need it. So <clears throat> then we have power over here to the control box. And um, I've got my Lego carnival ride hooked up. Outlet tester and CFL bulb right there. So this thing does have an e-stop. Which if you press it turns those lights off. We do need a key to reset it, so we can do that. And then, this guy has two modes. We have normal mode. Turns on, that stuff turns on down there. But I can turn it off. And it also has momentary mode. Which you have to hold it down for. So, yeah. We'll shut this off now. And I believe that is everything I have to say. So now we'll go over the system. Same horn strobe over here. I did flip the tones back on all of these. We have the black extension cord coming over here this time. So let's keep that in mind. <coughs> oh, We have, again, same horn strobe over here. Tones back to normal, and this is hooked up through my oscilloscope. So we'll just wait for this to turn on. Okay. And then we'll come over here. And the horn strobe is not right there, it's out here in the hallway. I have it right there. I have a red strobe on it now. Unfortunately, the red lights are kind of dim. And I did, and um, also, I had to take down the smoke detector to be able to put this up. Right here. I'll put this back up at the end of the video. And then I did, I put up a suitable replacement. Suitable. So, <laughs> I thought that was just kind of funny. Anyways, let's go pull an alarm now. The, okay. That scared me. I didn't pull the alarm and it just went off. I must have like bumped something here or something. Oh well. It's going now, so. And here's a fun little Easter egg. This switch mutes it. So. Basically, how I have these horn strobes wired up is the ground is my common positive, light or er, white is my light negative, and hot is my horn negative. So basically, this switch only controls the hot. So you know, pretty cool. hallway and yeah I mean these red strobes literally do nothing like the red lights are literally so dim so now 
we will put it on hyper speed and we'll actually pull an alarm this time. I do want to actually kind of see it. All right, so if we just like, what? I like pushed down on here. That is weird. And um, because it is pulsing so fast. Okay, that's pretty weird, actually, right there. So because it's pulsing so fast, um, we will uh actually still somewhat subcode. But right now, with this horn turned off, they're being normal. But once I turn on this horn. Then they start to do that, which is pretty weird. So I'll leave this off for now. I'll turn that back on before I reset it. And I'll show you the panel here. So this guy is like at about 9 milliamps. If I turn this on... It's still at 9 milliamps. So that's pretty interesting. Anyways, we'll come over here to the hallway horn. Or hallway horn show. But this one is pretty quiet. As you can see, it has resistors inside of the speaker. For some reason, the um, main horn strobe over in here doesn't have resistors in it, so it's a lot louder. No resistors in there, so it's a lot louder. So we will reset this. What's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. Give me a second. This happens every now and then. Just hold on. One of these pulled. No. Okay, yeah. What the? This panel's bugging out. I swear, I like bump something and it just goes off. Like what? Okay, that's weird. Um, so anyways, I will put it on constant. The horns do subcoat, so I did accidentally crack this faceplate, but whatever. And I'll show you this real quick. Audible silence, but because we're on constant, the horns just stay on. So I'll coat it real quick. So now we can actually see the horns flashing. Er, oh my goodness, we can see the strobes flashing. We do have audible silence at every single horn. Strobe. Ugh. Yeah. So we do have audible silence. We will come reset this pole and reset the panel. Try to flip that back and we'll do super slow for the end. Oh. Show you the relay clicking here. This would be most likely used in like a two-stage system. Like when one pull station is pulled, it would go into super slow like this. So I believe that would be general alert. And then we pull another one and go into general alarm. So I could like sort of demonstrate that. But then once we pull another one, um, speed would pick up.
So, yeah, I'd say that right there. It's going to be about the system test. So, before anyone gets mad at me, take down this horn strobe. You will put it back. Oh, man, you could not see a thing there, couldn't you? You will adjust this cable here so it's kind of out of the way. I'm doing this all carefully. And then I'll put the smoke detector back up real quick. Alright, that is back up now and get 100 pumped. So, to end the video, I guess I'll just do something for fun here. I forgot the missile switch, of course. Um. Okay, so if I got the camera like that, I can put it. Obviously, just falls off instantly. See ya.